gopher tour to stay. We made it to April 10th. My name's Carol McCoy and I'm an outreach volunteer with the Gopher Tortoise Council. Today we're supposed to be coming to you from Stump Pass Beach State Park, but considering COVID-19, we're really here in Inglewood in my backyard somewhere in Charlotte County. Um, but first, let's go on a virtual field trip. Let's see if we can encounter some of the tortoises out on their daily walkabout. It's a beautiful Florida day and we might get lucky, so come on. Okay, I'm out on my bike ride today. I always wanted to stop by here because it really looked like it, this empty lot could have a burrow on it. And today, as I drive up, or ride up, I can see our little buddy here. Now, I don't wanna bother him, so I'm gonna come over here. I just wanna sneak a peek at his this burrow. Actually, I'm going to walk around. It's nice and sandy up here. Some good coverage. Looking out for snakes because I hope I see one. There'll be something else to show you. Nice and sandy. like that could be something too. But here, here's a nice apron. It's nice and tidy. You gotta admire that about a tortoise. And then there's the hole. And you can see it's nice and camouflaged. Nice open and, and low vegetation. Let me get over here without bothering him. Get a nice shot from the back. He's on his walkabout. Too big of a tortoise. And so cute. Talk about the luck of meeting up with him today. I'm coming back here because actually this seems to be Another burrow here amongst the debris. Again, another definitely looks like it's active. Nice, really nice apron. Nice crescent shaped hole. Or I should say opening to the burrow. Um, this one looks bigger than the actual tortoise we saw over there. So I don't know where this one could be. Could be down there, keep it nice and cool. Again, I'm looking out for snakes because I could luck out and get to see one of those too. But so this is a, a commercial lot that I hope never gets built, and I'll have to keep an eye on it to make sure nothing happens to it. Okay. Wow, I don't believe this. This is like the third one. This one looks like a, it has some detritus and it's got stuff in it, so mm, probably not active. But still, you can see the, the apron's got more grasses growing out of it, less tidy than the active ones. But this is awesome over here. All right, one more time. This is beyond, this is beyond cool. Here's another one, same property. This one's nice and tidy. Also, they get a good housekeeping seal of approval from me. Okay, I'm coming back from my excursion on my bicycle. 
happened to see a really good burrow over here. It was out just a minute ago. There he is, sunning himself. Wow, I couldn't have planned that any better if I was actually planning on that. Because when you wildlife's wild, you can't even plan on them to show up to the party. But he really hit pay dirt today. So what did we see? Like five burrows. That includes the one guy that was on the way home on the bike ride. Well, those burrows are like 40 feet long and 10 feet in depth. And the opening is only as wide as the tortoise is long. And that enables the tortoise to turn around in the burrow and also block it if it wants to. You might even be lucky to have a tortoise in your backyard and maybe you named it. You can help keep them wild and healthy by planting Florida natives in your backyard so they have access to them all throughout the year. Um, and you might have seen that in a couple days ago post um, and if you haven't uh, yesterday's post has a nice folder of all tortoise material and you can find the list of plants in there. The gopher tortoise is Florida's state tortoise. It's a keystone species, which means about 360 other critters depend on the gopher tortoise burrow to provide shelter for them. These are con called commensals or burrow buddies. We have here on the table, one of my favorite burrow buddies is the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. I haven't seen one in a long time. The Eastern Diamondback is one of Florida's six venomous species of snakes. So you want to be careful. Another guy we have here is the Black Racer. Let's pretend he's the Black Racer. Here's some black racer sheddings that I encountered today while we were out on our virtual walk, our virtual field trip. Uh, we could, there could be some other things in there, a Florida mouse or any other rodent you could probably think of. Um, we have also the armadillo, which we learned the other day could use a gopher tortoise burrow for its own burrow. And we can tell that happened because the opening would be round like the body of an armadillo, nine-banded armadillo. We also discussed this week about the, the gopher tortoise being her, a herbivore, which means it likes to eat plants. And of course, if you had Florida native plants in your yard, the tortoise could easily find them and start chomping down on it, which I'm sure you've already seen a tortoise eat. It's one of the cutest things you could ever see. Well, you might be asking yourself, well, what could I do to help the gopher tortoise? There's a, there are a couple things you could do. You could raise an awareness in your community about the gopher tortoises. You can support legislation to protect and manage wildlife in your state, which would be Florida here. You could support active habitat management and restoration. You can become active in the gopher tortoise conservation by joining the Gopher Tortoise Council. You can find out more about that from their website, which is gophertortoisecouncil.org. So you can visit them on the web. Lastly, I need your help. It's very important. We have this tortoise here, but it doesn't have a name. So that's where you come in. I would like to run a contest and you can get your names to me on the comment section below. And to sweeten the deal, I'll make it worth your watch. I will send you a sticker, a conservation sticker. Um, another one, it's a Save the Upland sticker, which remember what the uplands are, right? Who lives there? And third, and not to be, this is important, Gopher Tortoise Day official tattoo. So comment below and let me know what you think the tortoise's name should be. So that concludes today's little virtual field trip. I want to thank you for watching this far and hope you are celebrating Gopher Tortoise Day too at home.
Don't forget the, uh, the files that are in the folder from yesterday's post where you can find games, more coloring pages, um, word searches, you name it. There's all kinds of stuff in there and I encourage you to check it out. Thanks again. Bye.